around. I don't know where you're running off to, but get ready. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Done. Ah, oh, there it is. I thought so. All right, we are back in Skyrim with Elven Iron Eye and his faithful companions, who in the last episode were in search of someone who might be able to read an Elder Scroll. The team found a Moth Priest and freed him from his captives, and now that Moth Priest is bound for Fort Dawnguard. And in today's episode, so are we. We're going to head back to Fort Dawnguard, report our success to Isran, and see what next he has for us to do. That is the plan, and I think we are ready to jump in. All right, so we're going to head back to Solitude real quick. We're going to hop on a cart and take it out to Dawnguard. We're probably... Oh, I think I can see the Moth Priest out in the distance there. <laughs> He's got the same idea. Um, we're probably going to focus on the Dawnguard story for a bit. It seems rather pertinent right now. Things are, are kicking up a notch. So it makes sense for us, now that we are proper Dawn Guardians, to dig in. So we're going to beeline it back to Dawnguard. I won't be surprised if Isran has another... Another task for us that is halfway across Skyrim. <laughs> we gotta stop in solitude as well. We need food. We are completely out of food. I forgot we had to wait like 32 hours so I could fast travel <laughs> to the Dawn Guard because they were hostile. And I may need to do that again. That is a bummer. It is what it is. 12 year old game. It is a bit buggy. It is also modded to hell and back, so. Alright, we made it back to Fort Dawn Guard. Nice! The priest is here. I thought he might take a minute. Hello, sir. Isran, clearly we were successful. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. All right. Dexian. Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Have my companions here made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now. If oh, everyone nice. will please be quiet, I must concentrate. <laughs> I see okay. a vision before me. I'm gonna come sneak An over your shoulder. Of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, Darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Sure. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. Yeah. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. All right. <laughs> well, why didn't you say something earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. Yeah, fair that enough. It doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Do you trust Harkon at all? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. We should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. That is sad. So where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. 
She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Uh, but you said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way hmm. she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. It sounds like she was being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. In the Dawn Guard? Any ideas? <laughs> That's exactly my thought. Hiding with the Dawn Guard? They'd be even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. Mm. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard are still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna imagine in Castle Volkahar then. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. <laughs> uh, isn't that pretty risky, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. Hmm. Well, they aren't going to let us use the front door. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. Go There's on. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. All right, let's go to the castle's secret entrance. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Uh, before we do that, I'm just gonna stop and check in with Isran. He probably has nothing to say, but you never know. I imagine he was up here. This is where he seems to- Oh, there you are. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. Well, I might and have good no news. Alright, hold on. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. Oh my god, Eric, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ezran. Well, you heard the scroll reading. Now, do you believe Serana? I heard a lot of vague nonsense. You could interpret Eric. that a hundred different <laughs> ways. The <laughs> only thing that stood out for me was Ariel's bow. That's a powerful weapon, and I sure as oblivion don't want the vampires to get hold of it. Mm. The moth priest can stay here for now. As for the vampire, I still don't trust it. So keep it on a leash. What can you tell me about the old Dawn Guard? Only what I've heard. Back in the Second Era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Hmm. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Interesting. I fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Uh, all right, that's all for us. Watch your back. Huh? Eric, you seemed incredibly interested in all of that. Yes? <laughs> what did you need? Oh, I bet it was your fault, Serana. You pushed Eric in the way. You got you guys gotta stop horsing around. Alright. Let's get out of here. And guess what? Back to the western <laughs> Back to the far west of the map. My god. Bethesda. <laughs> Alright, we took a cart out to solitude, spent the night in the winking skeever, and we're leaving very early in the morning. It's about three in the morning. And we're gonna head out to the northern shore of solitude. Hilarious that this entire game takes place in two corners, opposite corners something? of the map. <laughs> All well and good, though. Definitely more opportunity for adventure. I, the player, am just personally interested in seeing where the story goes right now. It's got my attention. The morning air is biting cold, and we are getting colder. We're probably going to be freezing by the time we get out there. That is one of the dangers of leaving at three in the morning in solitude. <laughs> oh, I hear a bear. Are you not scared of the bear, sir? Who are you? Farmer? Wanna be on the right side. All right. What do we got here? A bear. He's gonna attack if we walk past him, but I gotta go this way, Mr. Bear. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take out my shield. I can't really see you. 
Where did you come from? Oh, he got me. Oh, but I got him. All things considered. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we'll take his pelt. And his claws. No sense. Letting him go to waste. Alright, so we're I'm going to the to the northern shore. We're gonna take the boat that we took to get out there last time. And then hopefully Serana just leads the way. I'm sure she won't. <laughs> I'm sure that she will not. But that's the hope. Oh, and it starts to snow. But even if we get to the island and she doesn't lead us, she said it's on the north side. So hopefully once we get there, we can figure it out. Oh, I see an ice wraith. I see an ice wraith. All right, we're going to deal with this ice wraith. I'm going to take out my that? shield. Who's there? Oh, it's shooting us. Was it, it shooting us or something else was shooting us? No. Oh, Serana, you are... <laughs> you are something else. Oh, maybe Serana was shooting. Not used to having anybody that does magic on our team. Uh, I'm going to... Ooh, there's a troll. Let's switch to my sword. We don't want to dull it before we get into the castle. Alright, here we go. Once again, taking out the shield. These guys are scary. Nice. Alright, Serana, I don't care for the fire. Oh god, get away from the fire. We don't need anything off the troll. Steep fall burrow. We could step in there and get warm. Are you friendly? Oh, Dawn Guard. Hello. Yeah. Oh, interesting. We could hire right, them if we then. wanted to. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Keep warm there, fellas. Nice to see a Dawn Guard patrol. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Not since before we joined, I believe. All right, off to the castle we go. They are not going to let us in the front door. Where is Serana? All right, Serana has nothing to say, and she doesn't seem to want to lead us. We're going to see if we can figure it out ourselves. It's freezing cold outside. Which is cool. Unfortunately, we could not just row the boat to the other side, <laughs> which would have been nice and easy. Can we get through over here? Do we go around? You know, Serana, you could lead the way. You did live here, you know. We've got to get to the north side. If anything, yeah, we can brute force it. Bend. Oh, good. There you go. Now Serana has directions. Just around this bend. Nice. Castle looks so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Oh, Serana, we can't swim. Okay, good. <laughs> I got scary. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, people with bows. Serana, you're gonna have to go kill your own kind. I'm sorry. Somebody was over here. Oh, it's undead. Huh. That's unexpected. Go, go, go. I did not inside. I think someone's coming up behind us. We gotta get the archers first, though. Go, Brutus, go. Ah, uh, I got shot. Where's the other archer? I got shot by somebody. Fire, here we go. I got him. Following Brutus. Nice. Good enough. All right. Woo. Let's see what's up with these guys. They're just skeletons, huh? Maybe they were um, manifested to guard the rear entrance. Hmm. All right. We are going to take a potion and we're going to search these bodies, and then we're heading inside. I'm gonna turn off my torch in case it's crazy in here. You know what? Let's take out our weapons. I'll get my vampire weapon out. And in we go. Oh, it sounds like someone's here. I think I heard the sound of a dog. Of course I can't see a thing. I hear a dog. I see shadows. I can't see a damn thing. There's a little light over here. There's a dog. Oh no, it's a rat. That'll teach him. A skeever. Alright, Eldman still feels a little uneasy about this whole thing. I can't see anything. We're just gonna follow the light sources. Alright, I think we're okay. Oh! Guys. Serana, I don't care for that noise. <laughs> oh, food. We need food. Alright, we took their food. Let's head in deeper. Oh, there's two doors. There's a door. Huh. I'm gonna turn off my torch. There are dogs in here. I see them in the distance. I lost them in the dark. There's one in the light. And there's that means we're going to be fighting as soon as we step in here. 
All right, let's go. There he is. Oh, shit! Quite a team, eh? All right. Let's see if I can uh, shoot this one. No. Lost him. There he is. Let's see. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I hear another one. Here he comes. Here he comes. The old water system. There he is. Some days, this would smell just... Oh. Kick him. Man. Shame that was necessary. I don't even know if he bit me. I think I think just touching them is causing a problem. They have like a- Oh, shit! Oh, Serana! I hate it. I hate it, Serana. I hate your abilities. Alright, let's see what's in this death hound. Dog meat and a collar. No thank you. Onward. Serana, I really hate your dog. <laughs> I can't see. I gotta leave the torch out. It's dangerous, but it's dark. Nice. Can't hide from me. Oh, I can't get up there. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, nice. The uh, vampire had a journal fragment. Let's see. Not good enough to live in their stupid keep, am I? Stupid sods don't realize I've moved into the Undercroft and started taking control of their own death hounds. I'll get my revenge. <laughs> Nice. We'll take your ring of minor destruction, sure. Yeah, and uh, it seems even touching these death hounds is causing some kind of frost damage to me. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, nice. This probably opens that uh, blocked passage down there. We'll take that coin purse. We'll throw the lever. Let's go. It sounds like we got some skeletons waiting for us. Serrano, you stay right there. We're coming. Take a left up here. This is one of those weird double-barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. All right. Die! Oh! Done and done. Double-barred security measures. You want me to take a left? All right. God damn, I don't like your death hand. Are these things gonna hurt if I touch them? Ugh. I'm hating everything about this. Is that your death hound that's making all that noise? Serana, that's not acceptable. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Good enough. Woo. All right. Those things did a number on me. There we go. Feeling a little better. Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> this place is a nightmare. All right. We took a left. Here we go. We're going deeper. Hopefully, Serana will guide us if we take a misstep. Uh Spiders. In we go. Nicely done. Nice. Did you just laugh, Serana? First of all, you're supposed to be guiding us. Oh, uh, and I touched bones. Thanks for nothing, Serana. Nice. Ebony War Axe? We might give that to somebody. Can we get out over here? Oh, yes, we can. All right, cool. All right, we got another lever to turn. Lever is pulled. Something got dropped down there. We'll go through the door. Oh, more death hounds. Is that Serana's death hound? I don't know. Serana, I hate your death hound. <laughs> All right. Serana said take a left, but I'm guessing that was wrong. So we're gonna take a right. <laughs> this leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. Alright. You bastard. <laughs> Maybe I misheard her and she said don't take a left and we just did it anyway. Alright. Volkahar courtyard, nice. What happened to this place? That's my Everything's question. Been torn down. The whole place looks well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Can we do anything with the, I'm assuming, moon dial? This used well, to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used that's to good for us. Here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. All right, we're going to follow this her. This is my mother's garden. It, 
Do you know Hold how on. beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? There's a full moon crest so over here, Serana. See it like this. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Do we put it here? Missing crest. You do not have the proper crest. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of yeah. the crests are missing and the dial is askew. And we have Maybe a full moon one. could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Yeah, maybe. All right, I found another crest. What's over here? Anything? Here's another crest. Let's see. Nice. We dropped in the correct crest. Are all of these? We got to find one for every missing crest, huh? I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Oh, nice. We got him. There we go. Very clever. Took care mother. of it. Very clever. <laughs> I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. All right, let's go. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Oh, hopefully there's more dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's a coin purse and a pull chain. Nice. Alright, everybody, be careful. We don't yet know what we're dealing with. We might just be running into her mother, but I imagine it's gonna be a bit of a slog to get there. Oh, another pull chain. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Alright. Well, I'm gonna pull this chain. Uh, it just locks us in here. I'm gonna pull that chain again so we're not locked in here. Deeper we go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh the that? dead come to life. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck. Taking out my shield, I can't see. Why won't you die? That's my question. Why won't you die? Put him down, Brutus. Good job. Oh, Serana. Get out of the fire, Eric. All right, Serana, your fire and your your undead creatures. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Only one way to go out of here. And so we shall take it. Oh, there's these spikes everywhere. Not trying to get spiked up. What the hell was that? Oh crap! Did you hear get it, Eric! Don't fucking stand there! I can't see. I am completely blind. I can't move and I can't see. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I got caught in a finisher animation. All right, it was a gargoyle who had a garnet. We'll take it. Pretty tight quarters to be fighting a gargoyle, I will say. Once again, only one way to go. And so we shall head out. Alright, deeper we go. Another skeleton. Don't you dare. <laughs> Alright. Let's press onward. Ah, oh, crap. That is not good. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, be a little cautious. I see a healing potion. I'm definitely grabbing that. There's a gargoyle, and he comes to life. Nice! One shot on him? No, he's not dead yet. Is he dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. How gruesome. <laughs> oh, Serana, don't bring gargoyles with you! Uh... All right, we, I gotta be careful. I can't see, but I can't not have the shield out. It's too dangerous. All right, that's nothing. I hear a skeleton. I can't see anything. Come on over here, skeleton. I hear you. All right, go, go, go. Up we go. Where is he? I hear him. There he is. He missed. Oh! 
I can't hit him in that doorway and you guys are blocking me. <laughs> nice, missed. Beautiful. All right. We missed out on a whole bunch of stuff back here. Serana, I hate these things. <laughs> We're gonna go poke around back here. Elvin might need to find a place to take a nap. He's gonna need a short rest. All right. Elvin took another potion. We're gonna hold off on napping just yet. It's this double whammy of being so dark that we can't see and um, having enemies that do a pretty decent amount of damage. All right, deeper we go. Please keep up with me, everybody. Not looking to die in here. Oh, uh, we got a ranged skeleton up above. I think he sees us. Taking out the shield. One down. Get up here. Brutus, where's everybody? Guys, get up here. There's a gargoyle in here. There's a skeleton. Did you hear Let's see something? if I can shoot him. Let's see if I can shoot him. Oh, he got out of the way. God damn it, Serana! <laughs> Alright, in we go. Where did he go? Alright, I guarantee you this gargoyle's coming to life. Eric. I've got your back. Oh no, Brutus. Brutus, Let Brutus, Brutus. Good to see you. I need you to do something. I, I need you to gargoyle. No, <laughs> Alright. Go over there. We'll do. That it? That's it, huh? Alright. Whatever. Brutus won't listen. I'm gonna step forward myself. I know you're coming to life. I know you are. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, I hate these things. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pull that chain in a second. We're gonna look around here. Serana, I don't know where you're running off to, but... Get ready. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Done. Ah, oh, there it is! I thought so! Nice! Nice! Alright, those things obviously have a very lengthy... ...kill animation. Or the finisher you do on them. But they have amethysts, and that makes me happy. Did I pull this properly? I'm gonna pull it again. Wait, what? Was I I think I did. I think I just double pulled it. We're gonna pull it one more time. Done. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Guys, please keep close. This place is filled with gargoyles and nightmares. What do you think this chain does? I bet it just closes that behind us, right? It does. Man, you guys are dumb. <laughs> Alright. This is why I need you to stay close to me. Serana, when we're not in battle, you're right up my butt. Get over here. Ah, crap. Guys, a little help! <laughs> Shit. Please. Thank you. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Elden is going to have to take a nap. This is getting very dangerous. Alright, let's step back down here. Let's see what this gargoyle had. A gargoyle brute. We are in some serious trouble. We are in some serious trouble. Also, the uh, temper on our equipment is wearing out. Alright. Oh, Elvin is not doing well. <laughs> Alright. The team took a short rest, and I think we are ready to dive back into this nightmare. <laughs> Elvin's completely covered in blood. This is the hardest thing we've had to do yet. The balance that I have on the game, I think it's like, uh, maybe two and a half or three times the damage in both directions, so... This is incredibly dangerous. We haven't really had to face anything that could, like, come close to one-shotting us before. God, do we even go in there? Where does this go? If I could just get- if I could just go this way. Let's see what's in here. Yet again, I can't see. We're gonna open this. Step inside. 
It looks like it overlooks the same place. It does. It does indeed. So it's another way to get over here. Nice. Beautiful. Anybody coming? Anybody stepping in this door? I hear you. Come on. <laughs> we don't get to use this too much. Oh shit! Watch out, Serana. What's he doing? Come on. Step in here. Seems like he doesn't want to step over here. We're gonna have to go get him. See if this guy had anything interesting. He did not. We're going in. Alright, let me see if I can see him from down here. From this little balcony. Oh, I can, I can, I can. There's someone there. Serana, you got that ranged. Go, go in there. There you are. There you go. Go in there, Serana. Good job. Finally, you're helpful. Thank you. Serana, do your magic. Oh, sounds like Brutus is taking care of it. All right, we're coming to help Brutus. Ah, shit. Guys, get out of the doorway. Stop fighting in doorways. All right, one down. Nice. All right. Figured. <laughs> God damn it, Serana. <laughs> All right. That was just gonna let us it basically into a kill box. We would have been in a lot of trouble if we came in that door. My gut instinct was the correct one. We haven't seen much in the way of vampires yet. I mean, I guess the gargoyles. I never want to see another one of those things again. <laughs> Pop and open the door. Cautiously stepping in, taking out my shield. Man, I feel like we would have had better luck just walking in the front door. <laughs> Bloody rags. Nothing else on that table right now. Opening this door. Cautiously stepping through. No gargoyles to worry about yet. Don't want to speak too soon. Got a big double door. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, I'm gonna shoot this gargoyle. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate that close. I have to go. Sure. <laughs> I have to go close up to the thing. Oh, there's two gargoyles in here. Serana, come here. Get in there, all the way. I got it. I thought so. I thought so. Shit, there is two of them. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die in here. <laughs> Alright, one's down. One's down. Let's get behind this one. Let's get behind this one. Beautiful. Brutus. I think you did that yourself. Good job. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Get the last one. I'm gonna get, try to get behind it. Oh my god, which one is Serana's? Oh, <laughs> Serana. Alright. Eric, do not go that way. You and fire. I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. <laughs> of course there is. Of course there is. Alright, Eric. Good, the fire went out. You and fire are not on good terms, Eric, so you gotta be careful. Alright, that is clearly the door, disguised as a fireplace. There's another gargoyle up there I don't care for. We're getting close. I'm sure. Maybe it's my mother. Maybe it's smarter than I gave her credit for. I mean, it's kind of like the oldest trope in the book, but I did almost miss it. <laughs> I almost started backtracking trying to find how to get in there. Man, I'm gonna have a talk with your mother about gargoyles once we find her. Alright, in we go. Uh. <laughs> Uh, something's gonna get summoned in the middle of that, I'm sure of it. Alright, you got nothing, Serana? No wisdom, no insight? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. There's a balcony. She taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? All right, well, we're looting first. We're taking your, your family's treasures here, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm taking all your soul gems. 
It's the least your family could do after putting me through this nonsense. Any thoughts? Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Oh, there it is. Valerica's journal. Done. 27th of last seed. Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. 28th of last seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Hmm. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. Third of Hearthfire, I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. Oh, great. <laughs> As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it following me into the soul cairn, of course. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, soul gem shards, Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the Soul Cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. All right. Finely ground bone meal, purified vo void salts, and soul gem shards. We have the shards. We need finely ground bone meal and purified void salts. Keep searching for her notes. She I have them. A journal or something. Quiet down. Did I take them? Did I forget to take her notes? All right. We've got her notes. I forgot to take them off the shelf. We're going to go talk with Serana. I found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see I them. I did. What's this soul Karen that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Why did she care where used souls went? <laughs> the soul care is home that. to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Interesting. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel mm. to the soul care in itself. Well, if she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul care. All right, what do we need? I think I know. A handful of soul gem shards, anyway. some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. Blood. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which well, if you're we related. Could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Well, you share her blood. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes <laughs> with these kind of portals can be gruesome. <laughs> anyway, Great. enough of that. Let's get started. All those ingredients are here, right? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. All right. Ah, there it is. Finely ground bone meal. My God. <laughs> All right, we've got everything. I should have been able to finally grind it myself. We've got an alchemy lab. Get All right, Serana. In that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Done. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I guess. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Well, let me ask you something. Let's see if we know anything about where we're going. What is it? What will you do if we find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. Mm. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Well, it sounds like she did everything for your sake. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me, about all of us, but she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Well, we won't know until we find her. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. 
I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. <laughs> All Are right, we ready sure. then? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here goes. Mm. By the blood of my ancestors. Oh, God. Created a portal with a soul cairn. Incredible. All right, I guess we go in. Here we go. To the soul cairn. Are you all right? That looked painful. It was. What happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. <laughs> it's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. All right, go ahead. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. <laughs> oh my god. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so those are my only options. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Mm. Just know that whatever path you choose, <laughs> I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. Right. I know that better than anybody. All right. Well, we're not. We're we're Dawn Guard. We're not becoming a vampire. You made up your mind? I have. All right, Serana. Go ahead and soul trap me, because I'm not going to feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. What are you talking you're about? Immortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. I mean, there's not. We're not becoming vampires. <laughs> we're not doing it. So I'm ready. Let's do I it. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. <laughs> I'll never do anything that could hurt you. Bear, I just met you. Let's just get this over with. As you wish. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold uh, still. <laughs> Alright. We are partially soul trapped. In we go. <laughs> oh, it did weaken us. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can find this lady. All right, let's see yeah, if we can find her mother. Here. Let's try to handle this quickly. <laughs> Are those souls? Who is that? Is that your mother? Let's go talk to this person. I'm guessing her mother's going to be in there unless this is her over here. Nope, you are not her mother. I'm sure of it. Hello. Did you know I visited elsewhere once? What a strange and wondrous place. Oh, sad. Let's keep moving. All right. Yes, let's. Are these souls? What are you? Are you a soul? All right, whatever. <laughs> There's another soul. Yeah, she's got to be in there, right? Hello. Stay away from the oblivion gate, I told them. Did mm. they listen? Of course not. This is cool. All right. That's obviously not her mother. It's some kind of chest. Lord knows how we might open it. We're not going to try to get ourselves in trouble. I don't know that we're going to be messing things up in here until at least until we talk to her mother. We're just going to keep on this path. I figured she'd be in the middle of that thing, but mayhap she's elsewhere. Hello there, sir. A soul gem. That's what it was. Then I must be. Oh no. This is awful. I am really glad we don't use soul gems. Come I mean, we've been. On, what? What, have you got? what is happening? What are you fighting? Oh my god. There's like black skeletons. Damn. What is that? Soul embers. They have soul gems. Well, we're taking your petty soul gem. I don't know what to do with these soul gems. I wish we could destroy them. I guess that would destroy the soul. Be nice if there was some way we could free these people. All right, let's talk to this guy. We're going to stick on this path. Hello there. The screams. They pierced my mind. Ugh. I can't stand it. Hello. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. 
Okay. Calm down. Who who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. Okay. A place like this will change you. How can I help him? Arvac, Arvac, where are you? Arvac, please come back. Come back. That's it. Farewell. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Find Arvac's skull in the Soul Cairn. Hmm. All right, we'll keep an eye out for a horse skull, I guess. We could get off the beaten path and look for Arvac's skull. We might do that if we have an opportunity to make our way out of here. I didn't know you could soul trap a horse. Good to know. Oh, that's where she's going to be. Good to know and horrifying to know. Hello there, sir. Do you have a horrible story, too? To see the great dunes of Hammerfell once again. Oh, shit. Is that Arvac? Oh, Jesus. All right, that's got to be Arvac. Oh, there's someone over there, too. This is really a sad place to be, huh? Oh, that's interesting. He disappeared. All right, we're going to step over here real quick. We're not trying to get out too far off the beaten path. I want to go find this lady. Hello there. Do you have any information on a horse skull? Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. And what's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Ah, uh, okay. How in the name of Xenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? So that's how you got here? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Oh, people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? <laughs> Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. All right. Well, there must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. All right. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly, fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Huh. All Bring right. me, say, 25 of them. Jesus. And you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. What do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I don't have the husks yet. I'll go get them. No husks, no sale. All right. Guess you have some scavenging to do. We did see a soul husk right on the other side of that door. I might actually go look real quick. I didn't know. Oh, there's one right there. I did not know these were, um, these were currency. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what this is. Soul husk? Yeah, soul husk. What is it? Is it an ingredient? Oh, it's food. Interrupts the soul drain effect in the soul cairn. Resist 10% of magic for 10 seconds. I'm gonna eat it. Done. Alright. We just ate a soul husk. <laughs> Look at the sky. What Didn't do anything. It interrupts the soul drain effect. Hmm. Ooh, somebody's, uh... Somebody's unhappy with us, it seems. Eldon's got an uneasy feeling. Alright, we're gonna get back on the path here. We're gonna head up to that castle. We interrupted the soul drain effect, but we still have our missing health. We're gonna carry on. I'm assuming we're going for that, that eerie and ominous looking castle in the distance. As it gets louder and louder as we get closer. The horse ran off in that direction. We could probably check that out in a little bit. Unless he appears again in front of us. He might just be uh, designed to tantalize us and be just out of reach till we find his skull. Oh, oh. Oh, no. It's Arvac. Come here, Arvac. No, just question marks. <laughs> oh, there is a ranged... Don't you shoot me. Do <laughs> oh, no, I crashed. Oh, that is not good. All right. Unfortunately, my game crashed and sent me back to where we entered the Soul Cairn, but rushed us back over this way. We got into a fight with some skeletons up ahead. And my game crashed, like, right there. So we're gonna quick save here. I also grabbed a few extra soul husks on the way up here. I may actually sidestep these fellas. 
and go around them in case the crash was uh, local to that area. We want to head up to this castle. That's where I was heading. We're at least going to get to the castle today. I would like to. We'll see. Let's <laughs> see what this game has in store for us. But We made it to the castle. Let's see if we can step inside. Can we step through this Mother? barrier? Oh, there she is. Mother. Serana, is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we <laughs> you guys are dressed the same. We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> no, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. All right. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. I mean, kinda. <laughs> I mean, there is no ruse. For now, yes, we want to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. Well, that's why I'm here, for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. Huh. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. And how does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Ugh. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Cold Harbor? It's what some call the Domain of Molag Ball. Hmm. His place in oblivion. And Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her. Just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molag Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Interesting. So the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. Mm. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. So you're saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. Mm. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Alright, well we're not going to allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. Alright. And what does Serana think about this? You care nothing for Serana. Or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn. I have You're not. You're still a vampire hunter at heart. I am indeed. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Yes, indeed. Evil creatures <laughs> that need to be destroyed. Listen, I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the sun, despite the cost to Serana. Nothing else matters. This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Mm. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet. If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, You'll be in terrible danger. Yeah. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. 
You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. Hmm. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Excellent. So do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Okay. What do I need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Oh. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right, we'll return soon. One more word of warning. Mm. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernavir no. roaming the camp. Oh, no. Be wary of him. <laughs> the ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. All right. <laughs> if I leave this soul cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the soul cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place. A bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. All right. How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the soul cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the ideal masters, the custodians of this place. And what was that bargain? I requested refuge in the soul cairn. And in exchange, I would provide the ideal masters the oh my souls God, Serana. that they crave. <laughs> if I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. So they tricked you. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. And now you've become trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. And you've been imprisoned here for all this time. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each mm. watching the other to see which will give in. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We made it into the Soul Cairn and found Serana's mother. And now all we have to do is figure out how to get her out of here. When we come back, we're going to head out into the Soul Cairn and see if we can figure out a way to drop this barrier. But we'll do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Skyrim.